In the Days view, the images and videos are curated by the Photos app, and not all images are guaranteed to be displayed here. When you switch to this view, you might see a Curating Photos or Gathering Favorites message at the bottom of the screen. Scroll up and we can see that my library is broken into either a range of days or individual days, depending on the number of photos taken on each day. Notice that videos and live photos that are in the larger panels will autoplay without sound. This can be turned off in Photos settings if you prefer not to have that motion occur by default. I really like this though as it livens up things quite a bit. Tap the ellipsis button to the right of a day and we can share all the photos included in that day or the day range. If location information is included with the images, we can view them on a map. And many days will have a play button available. This will start a quick slideshow with music that's automatically created by photos and presented as a memory. We'll talk more about memories later on. single tap on an image or video to open it in the main photo viewer. Now let's move out to months view. Depending on how many photos were taken in a certain month and in how many locations, each month is going to have one to six panels associated with them. I don't have a ton of images in this library, so most months are presented with only one or two panels. Tap on a panel and we are jumped back into day view. We can get back out to months view with a tap on the button or a pinch on the display to zoom out. Pinch again to zoom out to years view. Years are always presented as a single panel. Tap on a year and we zoom back into months view starting with the first month in that year that contained any images. We're not able to change or rearrange the photos displayed in any of these views though. The presentation is curated only by the Photos app. But utilizing the years, months, and days views can be a great way to navigate, browse, and discover images in a large photo library.